Hello everyone and welcome to Tabor Talks on my second video of the day, right? So historic day, it's Tuesday afternoon, November 3rd, 2020 election. So Donald Trump was on Fox News this morning, by the way, by phone. He was supposed to uh, do it, I don't know why, but they, used, they were he was supposed to have a video, uh, a video chat. And I guess Trump couldn't make it. He slept in and he sounds like he's fucking hung over. Like just, I don't know. You know, he takes Adderall or some sort of speed. I know he was doing the rallies, but man, dude, it's a bitch, man. You know, coming down's a bitch. All right. So how pathetic is this man? Like how can anyone like this guy? He's so lame. Draw like this, you know, and and he's complaining to Fox that they put Obama on. They covered Obama. The speeches he's been making the last couple of days for, you know, endorsing Biden. And he's all a little upset. He's he's all upset like the little boy. And then the Fox News, they're so scared. Like, no, no, uh, Mr. President, we have to have two sides because you're not just running alone. You actually have an opponent, too. So we have to show them, right, little Donald, Donnie boy? Watch this. It's fucking pathetic. I was going to download it, but I'm just going to, you know, I'll just hold up my phone for this. Watch this. Moment to go out on. You right. said on the stomp before, right, uh, Mr. President, I know you said put it here. This before, is better. I wouldn't right have gotten into this job or ran for this job if the previous administration wasn't, in your words, so bad. And some have said that Barack Obama's come out to be the bad cop, to go after you. One of the things he said last night was he's going around spreading COVID uh, like he's a carrier because he cares more about having these big crowds than he does keeping people safe. Do you want to respond to it's the true, but president? Listen. Well, fortunately, he's drawing flies. He's not getting anybody to go listen to him too much. Actually, Fox puts him on more than anybody else, which is sort of shocking to me because Fox has changed a lot. On fucking real. You know what he said, what's the biggest difference between this and four years ago? And I say Fox. It's much different. Uh, listen to him. What a pathetic you're, man. You're three of them. But, but you know, Mr. But, uh, President, uh, listen. Thing, what, what they try much, to do, what they try to do with Fox, in terms of but politics, we just want to show both... Me. Unlike the other networks, they were trying to show both sides. So See, here's God? President Trump live, like, here's Joe Biden live. Because See, we here's the sides in the sell, we the, report like he's a six-year-old boy. So See, we have, have to show both sides. When Fox News hosts have to explain to See? the president that, you know, we have to acknowledge that you have an opponent. And we have to mention that your opponent is campaigning. It's not an endorsement. You know things have gotten really bad in the country when that's something that the president has to be explained uh, like a little kid. Exactly. And then a final I mean, how? I don't, I, I don't even get it. Like, how? Like, like, this fucking guy, he's so pathetic. He's such a weak man. A weak, ignorant man. That's all it is. Just a big loud mouth, you know? Born with a silver spoon. Daddy gives him money. Failed businessman. Six bankruptcies. It's ironic that this this fucking guy pretends to be a businessman. He's anything but a businessman. You know, I responded to one of his tweets. He was referring to himself as a developer. I go, no, homeboy. You're not a developer, dude. You just slap your name on things, you fucking fraud. All right. So tonight I'll be doing more, uh, more coverage. And thank God the national nightmare is going to end. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here on Table Talk.